Star Ocean Second Story, the game that you can break in less than four hours. But if you're coming into this game new, or if you haven't played in a decade or so, this video will go over things you'll want to know, from skill recommendations, tips to make money, and how to become overpowered very fast. To start off, you want to be making as much SP as you can. The more SP you get, the more skills you unlock. And the more skills you unlock, the more you'll be able to craft powerful gear. So spending your SP wisely is important. Early on, I recommend focusing on five specific skills. Determination, Call Bunny, Master Chef, Enlightenment, and Writing. Determination will lower the SP cost for each skill, so this will be your top priority for starting out. After that, Call Bunny is nice because it lets you travel across the map faster with no encounters, and you'll be able to get some pretty nice treasures early on. Master Chef will help you get fast money. Mixing seafood and fruit creates a soul and wine sauce, and when used, you'll start to make nectar, which can be sold for 103,000 full, making it the best way to make money early on. The super specialty enlightenment will get you more SP per level, and you'll unlock it through the train specialty. Training will reward you with bonus experience, so the two work together to get you faster levels and more SP per level up. And finally, the writing specialty. Writing will create skill books that can be used to raise skill levels. The ceiling for these skill books is 7, so you'll still need to put SP into learning the final levels, but they really help to conserve SP for other specialties like customization and crafting. Early on, the best accessories to craft are through Claude. Berserker rings with rubies and fairy rings with green barrels. Berserker rings will double your attack by putting a character into a constant rage state, and fairy rings cut the MP cost of abilities by 50%. This will let you spam abilities without worrying about draining your MP. There's also earrings of readiness that prevent back taps, which I would highly suggest making, which can be made by Claude through using diamonds. But the most overpowered accessories are the Ring of Fusion and the Ring of Absorption, which convert spell damage and physical damage into HP. So if you get hit with a physical attack, instead of dealing out damage, it'll heal you instead. The only downside is that the accessory has an 8% chance to break, but it's well worth the gamble. Ring of Fusion can be made by Claude through crystals, and Ring of Absorption can be made by Reyna with Star Rubies. Now for weapons. You're going to farm goodie boxes, and the fastest way to get them is to level art to about 5 and use magic clay to create strange goods. After you've got about 4 or 5 goodie boxes, it's time to save and open them up. You're looking to get Sorcerer's Knuckles and the Sword of Marvels. These two weapons alone will get you through 90% of the game, but if you want, we can actually push things even further. I'd suggest first making copies of them with replication. Remember, you can use skill books to level yourself up to 7 without using any SP. After you've made your copies, you can combine Orichalcum with the Sword of Marbles to create a Sylvance, which is one of the best weapons Claude can get. And with Reyna, combine Sorcerer's Knuckles with a Diamond to make Kaiser Knuckles. Eventually, Kaiser Knuckles mix with Moonstones, which will create Imprezias, one of Reyna's best weapons. With the Sylvans and the Imprezia, they're not the ultimate weapons you can get, but they will absolutely get you through the entire game. And now, you're overpowered enough to where you'll coast through the main story like it's nothing. So let's summarize things. The skills you should focus on early are Determination, Call Bunny, Master Chef, Enlightenment, and Writing. These help with SP and get you tons of money, and a faster way to travel the map. Berserker Rings and Fairy Rings can be crafted to boost your damage and save NP. 
Rings of Absorption and Rings of Fusion will turn damage into HP. And goodie boxes get you Sword of Marvels and Sorcerer Knuckles. Customize them further, and you'll blow through anything the game gives you. That pretty much sums up any tips you'll need for Star Ocean 2, but if you're interested in more tips, keep it locked for more videos.